Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is an updated and amended version of my previous tutorial. How to get 5.1 surround sound working on Windows 10. And now Windows 11. In this tutorial, I'll be explaining in depth how this all works and how to fix many common issues people will encounter while doing this. Hopefully, this shall explain a lot more make it a lot easier for a lot of people to get this working without having to contact me. Okay, so let's start with what is Apo. Now Apo is a driver install package. This includes drivers for many different sound modifications such as DDS or Dolby Digital. These are the main ones we'll be focusing on, and in particular Dolby Home Theater, Dolby Digital. Okay, so let's start. Firstly, we're going to download the latest version of the Apple driver. In the video description, you will have two links for Apple in particular. One will be from Mega from myself, which includes our older version of Apple and Dolby Home Theater's installer. This is for upmixing on older systems. If you have a newer home theater AV receiver, this may not work. Well, let's start. So. Depending on which version of Windows you're running, 32-bit or 64-bit is required. Now, if you're not sure, head down to here and type in System. System Information. And you're going to want to look at System Type. Now, this is a 64-bit system, but if you were running 32-bit, obviously, it would say 32. x86 is 32-bit. x64 is obviously 64-bit. So I'll run 64-bit setup. Now before all this, one fast little step we should do is disable our antivirus. So we come down here to protections and manage settings, just disable all this shit. In particular real-time protection. Now this may not fix it for everyone, after turning this back on, your driver may still get detected as a virus and may get deleted. I'll explain as we go. So during the instant process, we're going to open it up and go add or remove the features. Make sure FX configurator is ticked. And if you want DTS, I believe it is DDS Digital Entertainment. For Adobe Digital, for the latest version, select this. If you have an older receiver and have an older version of Dolby Home Theater's installation, you'll want to click on this older driver package. But we're using Dolby Home Theater V4, so we're going to select D. V4 version. Now you'd install and go through the process. Now at this point, your driver would get deleted and detected by your antivirus, thinking it's a virus. So if we come back here and go protection history, you will see. Now what you want to do is quite simply allow the fret and click restore, and then take action. This should restore it. Unfortunately, now the driver has been corrupted by the antivirus, and the only way to really fix this, and to continue the setup, is to run it again, remove it, once it's completely removed, come down, and install CC Cleaner. Run CC Cleaner, clean the registry, scan, click the view, click no, click fix all, and do this twice. This should fix the issue for most people. Then rerun the setup and follow the first starting bit. Once you've done that, and it's all installed, you should have FX Configurator in your recent installation of applications here. Click FX Configurator, this bit is mandatory. Now from here we're going to go Endpoints and select our sound device we wish to patch. Now, depending on how your system is set up and how we're doing this, if you're using optical or coaxial, you're gonna wanna select a real tag digital audio output. If you're using built-in, if you have a sound card with optical, obviously you'll select the sound card's optical output. If you're using a TV with arc or HDMI over arc, this you wanna select your TV. If you have your AV receiver hooked in, then you'd want to select that. So we're going to select my TV because I'm using HDMI over ARC. And we're going to come down here to the product configuration tool. Under products, please drop down and select Dolby Home Theater V4. 
or V3 if you're running an older driver on an older setup. Now, HDMI and SPDIF. HDMI is obviously HDMI and SPDIF is coaxial or optical. Um, now, what is analog for? Analog is if you're running a 3.5mm headphone jacks into the back of a speaker system with three or four of them for left, right and center setup back into the back of your motherboard using the analog 5.1 connection jacks. You'd apply this one to your analog sound setup. However, as we're running through purely digital over HDMI over ARC, we're going to connect HDMI or spit off if you're using optical, obviously. So click that, click apply. Your sound device should have a red cross for it. It should apply and you should be good. Next, we're going to want to come down to control panel and we're going to want to bring up this particular sounds menu. We're going to come in here under playback devices, select the Sony TV in particular, it's the one I'm using, your properties, and if you see Dolby, you are good, the sound device is patched correctly. However, if you come over to advanced, which is mandatory, you must do this bit and apply Dolby Digital. If that does not show up here and you don't click it and you can't apply it, that means the driver is corrupt and you're going to have to uninstall the driver again, run CC Cleaner, then restart your PC to be sure and hopefully it will fix it on the reinstall the next time around. If when you apply this, it says this device is not compatible or gives you an error and it can't apply it with this Dolby Digital attached to it, this means that sound device is not capable of supporting 5.1 audio to your receiver and you're going to have to usually use optical or find another way to do it with patching the driver which can be done either over installing a sound card or using built-in optical on your pc's motherboard to the av receiver and then you should be good after it being applied an easy way to do is to head over to this site and run the test with your AV receiver set as your default sound device. On my particular AV receiver, I get this. Center, right, right surround, left surround. As you can see, it says Dolby Digital, three front channels, two rear channels, and one center channel. This means it's working and you're good to go. Now, if we go back and we're going to install the Dolby Confiance at this part. Run for the install and it should work fine. This is only possible after patching your sound device and applying the Dolby Digital Live or Dolby Digital to the sound device through the advanced setting I just showed you. Once that's installed, it will show up in your toolbar here and you can turn it on. On some older AV receivers, it is possible to use Dolby Home Theater V4 to do up mixing on stuff like YouTube or questionable streaming sites or Amazon Prime, uh, taking a 2.1 audio channel and up mixing it to 5.1 by splitting the front channels into the back channels, allowing for fake surround sound. This only works on certain receivers and it is not guaranteed to work on yours. The rest of this, you can just tune your sound setup or how you want your volume settings. Okay, now, once that's done, you're pretty much good to go at this point. This should fix rear channels playing through rear and front at the same time. This should fix many issues and this should give you true surround sound. Now, many people don't realize this, but there's very few actual movie streaming sites that provide true 5.1 surround sound on PC. The few of them that are that I know of is Disney Plus and Netflix. Netflix is best done for the browser on Google Chrome uh, with the 1080p add-on. It's called 1080p 5.1. You'll find this in the Chrome Web Store. This will force 1080p and it will also force the ability to use 5.1 on Netflix. You just have to go under languages and sound while you're watching the movie and select the 5.1 audio for this particular movie. Okay, I hope this has helped everybody and I hope this will fix a lot of people's issues and explain a lot of stuff and make this a lot easier for people to do. Once again, as always, you're more than welcome to join my server, come talk to us, or ask for help. 
I am more than happy to help. Just ask, but be polite, be respectful, and don't be a dickhead. Because I've had some really obnoxious assholes being pricks, like demanding help when if you're not going to be polite to me, I'm not going to help you. It's as simple as that. I'm taking time out of my day to help people out. And if you ain't going to give me some respect, then you can politely fuck off. Okay, with all that, you're more than welcome to join my server and join our voice chats. We're usually in there playing games or playing VR together. We're a welcoming community and we accept people of all different nationalities and different beliefs. Because don't expect anyone to give a fuck. Because it, they, they really won't. Don't cry wolf because no one's going to care. Don't be respectful up to the point that you are respectful. Just remember that. Have a nice day, everybody. And a wonderful evening. Rain's out. Please subscribe and like, and hopefully this helps y'all. Have a nice one.